Right, well it looks like we're live. Uh, thank you for joining me on this Tuesday evening for our prayer time. I'll just wait for a moment uh, just so that um, uh, people can gather in. And I'm really, don't know whether I've uh, sorted out yet about how to um, receive the comments. So I may not be able to see what you're saying, just never mind. Um, ah, good. Hi. Hi, Mal. Good to see you. Great. I can see the comments. That's the first time I managed that. Uh, great. So there's two of us. That's wonderful. Well, wherever two or three are gathered, and there's already two, and the Holy Spirit's here. So that's great. We'll just wait another minute or so. Um, <clears throat> well, I'll actually, I'll actually just start explaining what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> so what time is it? Is it actually half past? Um, yeah, it is. So um, <clears throat> great. Uh, hi, Rach. Good to see you too. Okay, so um, hi, Lynn. Um, right, I've just been thinking about how when God reveals his glory, um, how uh, on very significant occasions God reveals his glory and he reveals it into the darkness. Um, I was th thinking about the, uh, the shepherds, you know, <coughs> the, other, the other day. Um, on the um, on the hillside uh, in the darkness of that night of Jesus' birth, and then suddenly the angels appeared, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them. Uh, you know, and that bright, that amazing brightness came right into the middle of the darkness. And of course, if we go back to the beginning of the Bible, the first words of the Bible, uh, it, it's how God speaks. You know, the, the, the spirit is brooding over the darkness, over the waters. And then God speaks, let there be light and light shines in the darkness. And of course, we've got um, uh, beginning of John's gospel. We've got, you know, the light uh, shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Uh, and then this very famous passage, famous Christmas reading from Isaiah 9 uh, verse 2. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Uh, well, why am I going on about light and darkness? Well, this is, you know, it just occurred to me, this, this time that we're going through, you know, some people could say it is it is rather a dark time. You know, we talk about more restrictions on the news tonight. And, um, you know, we've gone through these months of, of restrictions. Um, and for many people, it's it feels like a rather dark time. It's, it's literally a dark time. You know, it's, we've got with these dark evenings. Um, and yet into this very dark time, into this time of difficulty and uh, and stress and people suffering, you know, mental health issues and all these kind of things. and uh, into this time of darkness, God can speak his light. You know, the four of the most powerful words in the Bible are, uh, let there be light. You know, any words spoken by God are powerful, but those words <laughs> smashed the universe into existence, didn't they? Um, let there be light. And I thought, right, let's do some prophetic declaration together. <clears throat> tonight uh, over situations. Let's speak those four words, let there be light, into a whole host of different situations. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to pray for the revelation of God's light and God's glory into people's hearts, into their circumstances, you know, whether it be uh, our family, whether it be, uh, you know, our neighbours, our streets, uh, people in our church community, uh, whether it be in our city uh, or in our nation. Let's speak those words. Let there be light. Let's speak them prophetically. You know, God has, has anointed us with prophetic authority to declare a thing and it will happen. You know, God says, it says that we should speak to things that, that are not as if they were. God does that. We're made in his image. We're anointed by his spirit. So let's speak words with power and authority into the heavenly realms. Just speak them into being. OK, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to um, say, say uh, you know, a specific thing that we're going to we're going to which we're going to speak over. So it might be our own hearts. We'll start with that in a minute. Or it might be our family. OK, and, and I'll say, right. Um, uh, over over our own hearts, 
um, we say, and then when I said we say, we're all going to say together, <laughs> we're all going to say together, let there be light. Okay, then I might say over our homes, Lord, we say, and then we're going to say, let there be light. Okay, over our neighbours. Okay, and I'm going to say, we're going to, we say, let there be light. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to speak in unison together uh, over these different people and situations. Okay, so we're going to speak with confidence. We're going to speak with prophetic authority. Wherever two or three are, are gathered together, wherever two or three are agreed, then a the thing is established. Okay, so um, when I, well, while I'm doing this, um, we it, do put things up on the uh, uh, on the messages, and if I if I manage to see them, I'll I'll speak it out, and then we can join with you. Uh, so Janet Birch has says has said my workplace. Well, so we're going to speak of a jet start with that one o over Janet Birch's workplace. Lord, we say, let there be light. Okay, we're going to say over our hearts. During this time of uh, all these restrictions, even during lockdowns, during self-isolation that some of us may be having to go through, we say, Lord, let there be light. May your glory, may revelation of you come into our hearts over our neighbours. Yes, Mal, over your neighbours, over my neighbours, over our neighbours, Lord, let there be light over our homes and our families. Yes, Rach, over our families, over our homes. Lord God, over their hearts, let there be light. Over our streets that we live in, Lord God, where you've put us to live. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we say, let there be light, hallelujah. And over our services that are going to be taking place uh, this weekend that have already taken place uh, the Sunday services the Saturday services we've had and we've got coming up this weekend over those services we say let there be light over the hearts of people who have come to those services this last weekend who are coming this coming weekend we say let there be light. May the light of revelation shine into their hearts. Over our children and young people. Thank you, Jess. Over our children and young people. Lord, we say, let there be light. Hallelujah. May the light of revelation of you, of your glory. Over our leadership. Thank you, Mal. Over our leadership. We say, Lord, let there be light. Father, fall with the light of your glory and, and fresh revelation upon our leadership. Thank you, Father. Over our frontline staff body, we say, let there be light. May the light of your glory fall upon them. May the light of revelation fall upon them and lift their heads afresh. Thank you. Over our GPs, we say, Lord, let there be light. Father, would you illuminate their hearts with your glory in the name of Jesus. Father God, we say over our city, this precious city of Liverpool, Lord God, which has seen such darkness, Lord God, we say in the name of Jesus, let there be light over the city of Liverpool. Let there be light in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Over our health professionals, we say in the name of Jesus, let there be light. Thank you, Father God. Over our teachers and our schools, we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we speak over our nation, even at this time, in all that we're going through. We say over our nation, Father, our nation, in all our brokenness, we say, let there be light 
in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Your light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not and will not overcome it. Okay. Uh, over the success of this vaccine, we say, let there be light in Jesus' name. Over our government, we say, Father, let there be light in Jesus' name. Illuminate hearts with the glory of your gospel. Let May your light shine into the hearts of our nation's leaders like they've never seen it before. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father God, in, over all that Imagine If are doing at this time, Lord, over the hearts of those people, receive those um, those meals, uh, those um, uh, those gifts that go round, Lord God, those hampers. We say over the hearts of those people, let there be light, Father God. May your light invade their hearts and their homes. Not just gifts, not just food, not just hampers, but your light bursting into their hearts and homes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And um, let's see, we've got time for any more. We're just about winding up. Um, so I'm just seeing what the time is. OK, we've just about had our time. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Well, let's just let's just uh, let's just close this. Father, thank you, Lord God, that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not and will not overcome it. Father, and over all these things that we've mentioned tonight, we just speak again. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. We speak those four words which were spoken into the darkness, uh, which created the, un the light of the universe. We say, let there be light even in this time of darkness over this nation. We say, let there be light even through our, in our conversations with people. Lord God, give us boldness, Lord God. And from our mouths, we declare, let there be light in this time in Jesus name may this be a time of revelation of your gospel of hearts being opened of blind eyes receiving their sight father may your kingdom come may your will be done on earth may this be a time of breakthrough father God when everything's being being restricted everything's being locked down father where where there appears to be darkness and restrictions we say may you break in may your light break into the darkness like your angels broke into that Bethlehem hillside those 2,000 years again go reveal yourself to the least the last and the lost to those who are lonely Lord Father, those who are in need and those who don't realise they're in need, we say, let there be light. May your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Right. Um, just, let's just say the Lord's Prayer again. It's such a powerful prayer. Let's just seal it with the Lord's Prayer. Let's join together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours lord is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen in jesus name thanks for joining me have a great evening thank you